Hi everyone, it's Kate from The Fold Line. I am back this week to talk all things Barbie. Um, I nearly said hi Barbie when this started, but I thought that might be a little much. Um, if you haven't watched the film, don't watch this because I definitely will reveal plot twists and things in it without realising and I, you just need to go and see it. It's fabulous. I think it was, it was really funny and silly and it's just, it's so good. I, I really loved it. I, I'm not sure what I was expecting, but it definitely surpassed my expectations. Um, it was just, it's so funny. Ryan Gosling, comedy genius as Ken, he was brilliant. And there are some hilarious dance bits and it's just, it's so good. Anyway, you're not here to listen to me warble on about the film. I, I've done some hunting and I've got some really good outfits. I'm really pleased actually with what I've got. I think you guys will like them. So everything will be linked down below. There is also a blog post as well if you want to have a proper look at any of the patterns or the pictures or whatever. Um, so what I'm going to do is sh show um, the pattern alongside the image from the movie so that you guys can see. So the first um, image that we've got is Barbie's cowgirl outfit, which I thought was hilarious when they were out in the real world. Um, I loved, I thought this outfit was just kind of hilarious. Uh, the big flared trousers and this little waistcoat. So I've got two fantastic patterns. The Fiber Mood Vivian, which I thought would work perfectly. Waistcoats are very much in at the moment, so it would be a good investment purchase. You could make one for your Barbie costume and then make one for winter. Um, the only thing that was different that I couldn't find was you can see on hers, it's got that sort of turn back, um, almost like lapel. And I couldn't find that anywhere in any pattern. So that doesn't exist in pattern format. But I think you could add that feature on yourself. You can make it into almost add it as a seam if you wanted to make it kind of look like it. Trouser wise, the McCall's 8369, I actually love this whole outfit, I think it's really great, but the trousers felt really good and close to me, they had that kind of exaggerated flair that you want. I also like the seam detailing around the waist, you can see that sort of V there, which I think works really well and kind of has a bit of a nod to the shape of the front of the trousers. So that was my first look complete. Um, next up we had, this was a scene where they were trying to get Barbie World back and um, they were all wearing, because obviously they were working, they were wearing boiler suits, <laughs> pink boiler suits, which I thought were great. So pattern wise, um, the Our Lady of Leisure Gimlet, if you are looking for something with a slightly slimmer leg, I thought this would work really well. Um, it's got the buttons up the front, it's got, the, I think the crucial thing about this look was having a tie at the waist, which this one does. The other option is the McCall's 8243. This is a wide leg, which is probably, to be honest, a little bit more similar to the TV programme, TV programme, movie. Um, but it's got, again, buttons down the front and there are pocket details on there, which you can have or leave off. It's up to you. But I thought both of those would be really good. So this shot, next one, I will say apologies about some of the quality of the images because I was literally grabbing, screen grabbing images to try and get them. This was at the White House or the presidential suite, which is obviously the pink house. And um, I love their looks, the sort of, I, they, these to me feel like real nostalgic Barbie looks, those little kind of workwear chanel -y type look. Um, I definitely had a Barbie with outfits like this. So I've got a few options for you. So this is a new pattern that has just come out actually, the Bella Loves Freddy jacket. I thought this was perfect, your classic sort of Chanel shape without a collar, buttons down the front, and then these little sort of fake pockets on, on the, um, just below your waist. The McCall's 8370, this is a full look, so you can make the skirt and the jacket, which feels very Barbie, and the little slit up the side also is kind of a little bit cheeky, which I think would work really well. If you're looking for something a little bit more of a modern take on it, I forgot that the Vicky Sews Bryce jacket would work really well because it's cropped. I like the fact also that this one has a collar on it. 
And then if you're thinking, I was thinking like a little bit more relaxed, the Heather blazer would work really well from Friday Pattern Company. It's a bit kind of less structured, but you can still totally make this in something like a, sorry, my dog is here being annoying and hopefully she won't bark anymore. Um, the Friday Pattern Company Heather blazer, which you, again, all of these actually could be made in lots of different fabrics, but I thought this would feel quite, like their looks if it was made in something like a boucle um which is that kind of like the McCall's one that classic sort of chanel -y feel for the jacket so next up we've got the scene where she is leaving Barbie world to go to the real world and um she's got this beautiful dress on I really loved it for me it's a double breasted and that really lovely kind of scalloped collar I spent ages looking. I don't think I've got the perfect ones, but if you wanted to recreate those, that look, I think these would be good starting points. So one of the first one I've got is a Simplicity 1459. I felt this was quite similar. Obviously it is not double breasted, but it had that same collar, which I think you could adapt it into the sort of scalloped collar. The other option is a outer print pattern, but I have seen quite a few of them on the tint web. It says Vintage Simplicity 3581. It, I picked this because of the double breasted. That was the kind of core thing that it had. And then I thought you could probably adapt that sort of collar shape as well to make it a bit more like this. So I thought that was quite close. Right, men's look, Ken, had to include Ken. Um, there were, he has some really fab outfits, actually my personal favorite. Did anyone else love him? in the fur jacket and if anyone because I was I'm obsessed with details did anyone notice that the lining of the fur jacket had horses on and obviously he was very obsessed with horses in this bit that bit of the film which I just thought was like a really great detail anyway I digress this outfit felt like a very classic one um perfect pattern the simplicity 9758 I also I mean I just love that it's in pink linen as well so I felt like it had to be it was like too good not to put them together um but you can see in the picture that I've got in his pink outfit the shorts were a bit longer that you I put the line drawing in so you can see that there's a short sleeve version of the shirt and a slightly shorter cut on the, the shorts as well so if you wanted to create this very fun candy stripe outfit you definitely could with this pattern so next we've got the slumber party and every night was girls nights and they had a slumber party every single night which I just loved and their I love I really enjoyed their um kind of what their, their sleepwear and uh, I remember my Barbie having like very elaborate pajamas so Barbie's outfit I thought that the Nina Lee Piccadilly would work really well sorry um I can't remember what she's called the you know um, the Nina Lee Piccadilly would work really well. A little short. It's got that kind of interesting collar detail. It feels quite similar. And then the image above with the kind of classic pajamas with the marabou on the actually I think it's ostrich. I've said marabou, but I think yeah, ostrich feathers on the cuff. Um, I thought the closet core Carolyn would be perfect for this, and they're such a classic pair of pajamas. Now I forgot to say at the beginning. I watched a really fantastic, as I was kind of doing lots of research and trying to get good images. Um, they, there's an architectural digest tour of the Barbie dream house, which I thought in terms of a marketing ploy was, was rather brilliant. And you have to go and watch it, it's wonderful. They show you all the sets, how, like, how they made some of the stuff, all the things to make it feel more like a doll's house, like different scales of props, and it was really interesting. So I'll pop a link down below to that the uh, that thing, because it's definitely worth going to watch. So, right, I've got three more looks. Next, we've got Weird Barbie. I loved her. I thought she was so good. Um, this dress, to me, was just, as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh, I love that, I love that dress. And I think I've done very well. Um, the Fibre Mood Judy, I thought was almost a perfect match. Big sleeves, it's got that seam across. The Fibre Mood Judy seam is slightly curved, you can see, but pretty much it's got the same feel. If you wanted to add a bit more drama into the sleeve to make it kind of more structured, you could add some tulle into the sleeve head or um, put, yes, yeah, or put some tulle like up in this bit. That is adding into the sleeve head, isn't it? Sorry. Had a had an 
I had a bit of a night last night. Um, yeah, sorry. <laughs> so, right, I've got two more. So this dress I have to include because this to me was on loads of the promotions. That sort of pink gingham dress felt really, really Barbie. So I've got two really good patterns. I've got the Burda 6343. This to me was probably the closest. Um, it has the same, very similar neckline. The straps are very slightly thicker, which you could make um, thinner if you wanted to. But the crucial thing was it had this big pleated skirt, which the Barbie dress does. And she's obviously wearing a petticoat, so it sticks out a bit more. The other one was the Simplicity 9738. This is a vintage one that they've reissued. Um, again, quite similar because it's got the ties at the top here. Um, slightly different neckline, but quite similar. You could probably kind of change the curve on that and make it feel very similar. So that one for me was perfect. Right, last one was the one that I was really excited about finding and I don't think I've done a perfect job and I'd love to hear your thoughts. It's the um, strapless jumpsuit that she wore at her party um, with the dance routine, which was, I can't, was so hilarious and brilliant. Um, I looked for ages, but I don't think there's a huge desire for strapless jumpsuits. The two that I did find, are the McCall's 8101, I feel like this probably is closer because it's got the wide leg like hers. Um, it's definitely different in terms of the shaping of the neckline, but I think you could probably change it and make it a bit straighter if you wanted to. The other one I thought the McCall's 8360 was quite good as well. It had, it's, it's definitely a bit more fitted. It's got proper bone, it feels like it's got kind of almost like boning and seams down the centre front of the trouser and the trouser isn't as wide legged, but I thought you could, it was worth putting in because it's again kind of similar top and feel. So that is it for me. I hope that, uh, I mean, honestly, we got, I can't even tell you how many people have asked me to do, asked us to do this. So um, I hope that lived up to expectations. Um, don't forget to check out, don't forget to check out the blog post and um, yeah, I will see you very, very soon. Bye.